I am Anderson Brodock Silva from Brazil. I represent Pedro Rizzo. I'm from Sao Paulo. I'm only here for fight for tournament, forget the title, forget the, ch the chance for fight for title, you know. That's why you're here for beat some two guys. <laughs> yeah, I feel, feel very good, you know. I feel confidence for this tournament. I think uh, I have a lot of chance for taking this opportunity. Uh, I have uh, three guys, two strong guys, the other way. But uh, uh, I already fight against big guys, all right? Uh, for me, it's, it's normal day, you know? One more day, one more, one more sparring hard, one more fight, it's normal. I think I have a lot of chance for take with this tournament. Uh, I already fight against big guys. Um, uh, I like to knock out, you know. I, everybody wants heavyweight. I like to knock out, but I think I have a, I have a feeling for knockout. You know, my first opponent is Mayo, uh, a strong guy. He have a, he is knockout guy, you know, fighter, knockout fighter. That's why I have more chance. I'm a count fighter. He comes to fight. So that's why I think I have more chance. Uh, I don't take my about, a lot of things about my second fight because I have to first I have to want the first first fight, you know. I lose the first and I have the second one. Uh, for pro, a person of Rick, I like him very much, you know. He's a nice guy. He always do nice things for everybody to all around to here. Uh, for professional, I don't like a lot of style because. I I I'm, I think I'm old school, you know. I just look for knockout. Rico only look for point, you know. He he care about win. He want to. F he just want to win, you know. I like to make show for fans. I still there just for fans, you know. I I love to fight, but I fight for fans. If fans, everyone likes to see knockout. Rico not do a lot of knockout. I just look for knockout. The, for fight against here, you have to be like a street fight, you know. You have to do, you do technical things, he's perfect. But you do street fight, I think he have a little bit of problem. Uh, I feel confidence, I feel speed, I feel power. For me, it's, I feel normal, you know. Like a, every day I walk in the street, I feel, I feel good. Like a three years ago, three, four years ago, my life start to be bad professional. I have many problems. Uh, almost one year, my life is gonna be started uh, up again, you know. I think now I get this tournament, it's very good time for chance, you know. It's, good, it's very, very good. Yeah, I, I, really I work uh, many guys, you know. I work to, in California for Kings MMA. I work to Pedro Rizzo, uh, Nogueira's brother, you know. Pedro Rizzo make my, my trend. Every day, he's, every week, he send me everything I, I have to do. Uh, I look what I have to do. I make, I move where, where I go. Because in Brazil, we have a lot of heavyweight fighters. Sometimes, no heavy heavyweight in Sao Paulo. I go to America, I go to Rio, I go to South, to, to Brazil. But uh, Pedro Rizzo is my trainer. He make my trainer. Like I said before, uh, Mike's wife, I have a lot of problems, like some, some daily fight, I have a problem to her fight. And I have Fox in the, in the ring, like a 10 minutes before fight, call a fight. Uh, that's why I think uh, sometimes behind the professional, you have some problems, you, ha you have uh, some, you, you change uh, the problem, the professional for person. I think that's why my, my career is up, down, up, down. Now, I think almost one year, my, my career, my life was going to be up. Uh, what, so 10 minutes before you would have a professional uh, fight, she would time, be... Many times, many times, many times. Why didn't you kick her out of the locker room? No, I don't actually call it. She, I never bring her to fight. It's my work, you know. You don't have to be a wife there, girl. But uh, she thinks I'm beautiful. She thinks I have a lot of girls. All the time, she many problems.